Hello, everybody. Hi. Hi. Happy Heart Treasures here. I'm Steve. I'm Donna. We are resellers in Lincoln, Nebraska. Working on a few things in the garage. Going to see what we're doing. Yeah, it's been a fun weekend, y'all. If you watch us, uh, you may have seen the storage unit video. If you haven't, check it out because it was a lot of fun. Yes. Uh, we want to talk about a few things from the storage field. Blah, blah, blah. We want to talk about a few things from the storage unit. Uh, we want to talk a little bit about our moving our son back home. Yay! And we want to talk a little bit about, uh, we. oh, we have some things to ship. Uh, it's like 15 yep. things. Oh, that's Not a huge eBay weekend, but uh, 15 things. We'll take them, and we'll ship them, and we'll get them out of here, and we'll keep on going. So stick around and see what we're up to. All right, everybody, where do we begin? Um, the storage unit, if you've seen the storage unit video, that was fun. What? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Look That's... at him. He's a friend. He's one of He's our a friend. One of our friends little stuffed plush, but doesn't he look real? <laughs> oh, stay tuned, he'll be on. <laughs> All right. Sorry, sorry to disrupt. <laughs> All right. Storage unit. I'm uh, over anxious. The, the storage unit was a lot of fun. I want to say if the manager of the storage unit ever sees this, shout out to thank her. Thank you, thank you for or, letting thank us you. use the dumpster. <laughs> we talked about it. If we wouldn't have been able to use the dumpster with Man. all the rotten food, that would have been horrible. We Remember, might there have was, walked away. There was, was a terrible. bag that was leaking and left a puddle. Like There were several No, bags we wouldn't leaking. have walked. We would never walk we away. We never walked we've, away. We've dealt with a lot worse. But we would have had to sort it there. I would have had a there. grumpier husband. Me? Yeah, with yucky food in our van and stuff. No, we wouldn't have put the yucky food in our van. What we would have had to do was we would have had to sort it at the storage unit, good and bad, and then we would have had to come back early the next morning with a trailer and load it all that into a trailer. That was the morning I, we were going to get Luke. Though. Right, so we would oh, have had to do man. it really early, like at 7 in the morning, yeah, that and then worked. put it all in a trailer take it to the dumps because I would not have put that old food in my van. We would have had to put, get a trailer. So that was awesome anyway, that she let us use that. Anyway, thank you for letting that was, us use the dumpster. That was great. But uh, a lot, we found a lot of cool stuff, and Donna mostly went through a lot of the boxes, found a lot more cool stuff. We just want to show, highlight a couple things. Put a few things on eBay, and what this. What you got? Oh, my goodness. I don't know if we showed this, if we found this in the video, but it's a 1923 silver dollar pendant. On a necklace. I don't know if that's focusing or not, but I put this on ebay i put it on a seven day auction because the prices are really all over the place started at 29.99 i put it on last night and this morning got our first bid for 29.99 so that would be literally one dollar into 29.99 as of right now the video for the uh clean out somebody commented on said how much for the white diamonds so looked it up on ebay it's about 15 to 20 dollars and I told them 13 plus ship. So hopefully if they see this, they can respond if they want it. Also, Here, I found- Why don't you show them? Also found this hobnob pitcher. Hobnail, not hobnob. Hobnail. Hobnail uh, pitcher. And it's gonna be listed today for $36.99. So cute. And then this is very dirty. I need to clean it up. But I found it listed in a couple places anywhere from $50 to $95. So that'll be listed today. Steve told me what to put for the box and size and whatnot, but it's it's very pretty. And it's sold? Yeah, they're sold. Okay. Mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. And then over here, if, if you watched the video, you saw when we found this. We had no idea, but it is a vintage coach. Can you see the tag in there? Yeah, a little bit. So it's a vintage coach leather bag, but see, you can tell the difference. It's it's been well used, well loved. So it's got a couple couple scrapes on it. A couple it's... scrapes, but I kind of wanted to see if our leather conditioner here will work. So Steve said I could try it. So let's see. Yeah, she's gonna do some of the bag, and then we'll come back after it dries, buff it, and see how it looks after we're all done here. And just see. Oh, is that going to be pretty if it works? It's very, very dry right here. So you can see how it's just soaking it up. Why don't you do like that half okay. and leave this half and we'll see how it looks after it dries and stuff. Okay. I've never done this before, you guys. So if I'm doing it <laughs> right or wrong or whatever, you might have to, to let me know. 
But on shoes, I've done it before. Funny story. <laughs> My mom gave me some leather shoes to sell for her and so they were a little bit scuffed and a little bit worn and so I used just plain old E um, compound vitamin E shined them up a little bit put them on the dollar auction and my mom started bidding on them and I'm like what are you doing they're your shoes she said they look really nice I said <laughs> they're your shoes I redid them she said they looked like new and so she wanted to buy them back. <laughs> so yeah mom I told on you but so sometimes it just takes a little elbow grease and little TLC to see what you can do so we'll let that set for a little bit let it dry and then it says we're supposed to come back and buff it to a soft, rich, soft glow. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right, that will be cool to see how that turns out. A couple of the thing, couple of the things we found. This is not from the storage unit. This is from a buyout. But we have a Pug Express. This Pug Express. I think these are Danbury Mint. Honestly. Are they? Yeah, the Danbury Mint Pug Express. Oh, that's so awesome. I, I looked it up real quick on eBay and the selfie rate ain't great, but I didn't do a very good search. So, ain't, ain't a word. But that's pretty cool. A um, couple of the things from the storage unit that are listed. That Barbie, the Winter Valet Barbie, if you remember. It's not a valet. She's, it's I, I know. It I know. Isn't she pretty, though? Yeah, she's at, I think, 6 or $7.00. This holiday one is at $11. And we did look up this one, and you are actually going to list her because she is Bob. Yeah, she sells for like $30 on eBay. Bob who? Bob, turn it over there. Oh, no, it does on that side. Bob. This guy right here. <laughs> Flip that back over. Bob Mackey. Not familiar with him, but. But look at her jewels. She hasn't been out of her box. She's still tied in. Yeah, she's like 30 bucks and actually does sell. So yep. we'll put her on. Okay. All right, we're going to head inside. It's chilly. We have the garage door open just for filming because the light is so much better. We're going to go back to the dungeon and we're going to just talk briefly about moving the kid home and then we're going to show you what sold on your day. All right, we are down the dungeon now. It's not a dungeon. It's not a workspace. Oh, let me show you quick. Um, right here she where'd is. Where'd you put her? Right you here. moved her. I moved we her. got the vase back from the grandma ma. So that was awesome. We got it back all safe and sound and it's relisted. I haven't put it away yet, so I was hoping it would sell right away. But <laughs> sometimes yes. that happens. Um we got our kid back from Alaska. We did. Um had a little bit of a hiccup in Seattle. They had to Well, as you know, it was canceled last time you watched yes. two videos ago, like we got the phone call that it was canceled or the text message rescheduled got a rescheduled for the next day so on friday they're supposed to be here at 12 30. um they had and then we got a message they got out okay they got onto the airplane they brought little stickers and said here you go your dogs are down below so he knew that the dogs were loaded yeah then they get to seattle he says we arrived in seattle two hours and then he says they paged me to go take care of... Yeah, they called his phone. A poop emergency. They called his phone and it said private number, so he didn't answer. And then they called right back again. He's like, hello? And they're like, "Do you, are you are you uh, flying a dog? And he's like, well, I'm flying three dogs in cargo. <laughs> and they're like, um, we, need you to, <laughs> we need you to come down here. We've had an incident. And... They, they escorted him down to where the dogs were. Mickey... Mickey has a delicate tummy and he's he's been doing better in the car but apparently the airplane was just really scary so he had an accident in his kennel and it was everywhere so uh, Luke, it was out the back end not the front end <laughs> so Luke had to clean it up and yeah and then got back on the plane it was it was delayed about 30 minutes and I told him it was his fault it wasn't um but anyway <laughs> once they got here we had already found out where to pick them up and everything and they brought them out and there's a little bit of a 
the smell wafting across the pickup yeah, area. Yeah, Mickey, Mickey stunk pretty bad. <laughs> so we took him outside and wiped him up with baby wipes and brought him home. Yeah, there's a little dog relief area, and so we took him all over there. And, outside. And Donna and, <laughs> and Luke uh, just kept wiping him down. We took, like, a waterless shampoo spray yeah. and just cleaned him up good. So he came home. We didn't smell him too bad, but all the dogs made it. Can we show Luke a couple pictures? It. Uh yeah, here's a couple pictures okay. from here's them cleaning up the dogs. Luke <laughs> Luke leaning over and cleaning the inside of the kennel. Um I don't know. I, we don't have a really good picture yeah. from the house or anything. But yeah, if we would have shown up with a GoPro strapped to our chest, oh, yeah, he we'd have, have been, been in mm. bad trouble because it was it was high stress enough. Like but we're we got, better now. We got there super early so we could scout He's out here. where to take the dogs, where they're gonna mm. be there, where do we get the carts to take the kennels i mean it was a high stress thing and his but friend grayson came and helped us bring him home because we didn't have room enough for everybody yeah so but i will say i do want to say the dogs wow they were, they so, were so good, good. i was just imagining as soon as they saw us especially barking and crying yeah. and whining and everything else and they didn't like they'd bark or whine a little bit and luke would be like say their name and be like no and they'd just be quiet like they They're knew like, okay. like they knew this was business and we needed to get this done like uh, they completely waited until we were like home until we like engage them in like playtime or something you know like excited to see them yeah. then they were like oh freaking out but like they knew it was a business trip it was pretty cool to watch honestly a business trip. yeah they were like <laughs> okay there's a job here we need to do we need to get wherever we're going but it was pretty awesome yes. and now he's here and so we've spent a lot of time last couple days you know helping him going over to the house and just trying to see whatever he needs to try to help him get we going. were gonna have to share our van and thanks to our other friends we have borrowed a van to drive so thanks you guys yeah that has been amazing yeah thank so. you larry and ruth um so like our ebay sales we have 15 things going out yeah. uh it's a little light but we haven't listed hardly anything on ebay because of all these other things going on. <laughs> Back at it um, today though, guys. Watch, you know, was watch it smart to size. get a storage unit last Thursday instead yes. of listing? Yes. No, not really, yeah. but it turned out awesome. <laughs> and that video is doing really well. We're super excited about that. Did so. you tell them we found a ring? later we've oh yeah we found a donna found a ring a gold ring you gold guys. ring I think it's 10 karat it looks like it's 10 karat gold it's stamped 10 and then K's, also so. a sterling bracelet that's very heavy yeah it's thick you know it's, it's so thick. found several cool things the foreign coins are on dollar auction right now yeah. and they're doing well i put a couple of the silver dimes on dollar auction and they're doing well like i'm very happy with how it's going so far but this never happens to us so <laughs> we're very excited <laughs> so we got we got a long ways to go though so okay, but anyway we got uh, 15 things to ship yeah and so in no particular order here we go what do you got donna i have a millie bornez game and it is brand new never been played still wrapped up and it's sold and that's sold for 29.99 plus shipping that's awesome yay all right, there's two little eggs here. They're hand-blown chicken eggs. Two hand-painted, decorated eggs. The picture might be better if you just put put it. Yeah, I'll pop picture up. Those sold for ten fifty plus shipping, and they are got, got them garage sale, and they're going internationally. I'm not sure where exactly. That's cool. Here's a pair of Pelly, Perry Ellis <laughs> Pelly Pelly Ellis <laughs> Perry Ellis uh, pants, brand new. They sold for twenty four ninety nine plus shipping. This is a pair of Eddie Bauer fleeced lined oh, you can't pants. See them. You can't Black see them, pants. but 1839 going out the door. Next up, we have this is from the Facebook storage unit when we bought a when we bought a storage unit off the Facebook dollar auction, oh, and yes. there was a lot of crafting stuff. This is a train from 1986, I believe. This sold for 19.99 plus shipping. This is a friend of ours that's moving. We're selling some stuff for her or them just because they're moving. And this is a old, old, old kaleidoscope. Look. I'm going to try to see that. Yes. Ooh, look at it. You can see in there. Yeah. It's brass. Brass kaleidoscope. That sold for $26.99. This is also from them. Also from them, a little American Girl doll umbrella. And that sold for $10. Okay. All right, what do you got, Donna? This is a little teapot, and it came from the Cotner. Clean out. Clean out after an estate sale. And it sold for? Uh, $31 plus shipping. It's beautiful. Touring. Parker Brothers Automobile Card Game. Touring. That is old. Uh, and that is $14.99, weather permitting. <laughs> <laughs> 
plus shipping. <laughs> you know, we need to tell them the story. What? No, that, we don't. Okay. It's, a, it's an inside joke. Inside joke. All right. <laughs> this is this is an old ball, uh, ball glove. I got it at a garage sale for three dollars. Not a great glove. Sold for twelve. I took an offer for twelve dollars and eighty four cents. They wanted to be at twenty dollars with shipping, so it's been here a while, so I let it go. Here you go, Donna. <laughs> it's a wig. The picture looks better than than me trying to tell you what it is, but it's a wig. All right. <laughs> that wig came from an estate cleanout, and that sold for $19. And it came with the bag and the receipt and everything. Yep. So, there we go. And then we've got two going to separate places, but two beautiful teacups. Teacup and saucer sets. And there's one of them. Here's um, a little bit different one. Isn't that blue. pretty? Really cool. This one sold for $19.99. The other one sold for Forget Me Nots. Forget Me Nots? Yeah. $19.99. The other one sold for $14.99. Okay. And then this is a tea towel. And this came from the Bolt Estate, I believe. Uh, this is a state. Or it might have been Malcolm. Some kind of a state. That's a tea towel yeah. of a little farm scene. Thirteen dollars and seventy nine cents. That did. That did. And mm. then, lastly, these are. I thought they were just plain old pink depression glass, but you can see on the back. Oh, I see it on there. You probably can't see on the camera, but right here, there's. It's marked. And it, what it There's is, a picture is of it you can put up there for him to see because I took a picture. It's 12, I don't know how to pronounce it, Arco Rock, France, Rosaline, pink, pink glass swirl salad plates. There's 12 of them. And they sold for $40 plus shipping. Yes. And then we, I think you also sold some dessert ones of this. Last week. Last week. So. Yeah, some dessert ones. Yep. Yeah. So that's what's going out. We're going to get these things shipped out, and then we also have a bunch of stuff ready to go to the booth. So oh, we're yeah. I stayed up late because it got late. So oh. we got a bunch of stuff ready, so we're going to take that, too. Yeah, and then, yeah. That's it. I think that's that it. That's it. I like and subscribe, it. you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for yeah. liking, subscribing. He's Commenting, been putting all that some, stuff. He's been putting some shorts on. They're pretty fun. So check out his shorts as well. But I'll check out my shorts. No, that sounded bad. <laughs> Set, check out it's the shorts. It's not summertime yet. Check out the shorts uh, that he's publishing. Short videos. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Jeepers, creepers. All right, that it? That's it. All right, thanks. We, thanks for watching, everybody. Happy Heart Treasures. We'll see you on the next one. I'm Steve. I'm Donna. Bye. Bye. <laughs>